Hey everybody, it's Emma from Paint Point Studios here with the somewhat controversial, and I mean like controversial in that people either seem to really like him or really not like him, third edition of the 2022 Premier Club, the Amazig Stallion, Animar. Um, he, to me, he looks, I mean this, is, this has got to be the resin version just based on the softness of these dapples alone, but... I am very, very excited to see the plastic one. Uh, my friends that have gotten him ahead of me have really liked him a lot. He is already slightly unboxed. As you can see, I have the naked Premier Club box out here already, uh, simply because this guy showed up on my porch yesterday, uh, which is, I'm filming this on a Monday. So he showed up on Sunday. I'm not used to getting mail on Sunday, so I didn't check for mail. And, uh, turns out he was on my porch all night in 20 degree or below weather. And I found him this morning before I went into the office. So, <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that, yes, that's, that was actually Animar that I had, that I had gotten. Um, and I brought him with me to work so he could warm up. Um, when I took him out just now, he also comes with this sketch by Sarah Mink. I, I really love the way that Sarah, like, she sculpts very realistically. She has to be one of Breyer's most realistic sculptors, um, uh, aside from Jennifer Scott. But I like how she sketches like this, very, like, whimsical. Um, that's, that's how a lot of her artwork looks in general. If you follow her email list and you see some of the pins and stickers she's done, she has a super cool illustrative style. Uh, that I absolutely adore, and I love, I love having this with the horse. So let me flip this over, see what it has to say. The Ayas Amazig is a little-known breed that has had a tremendous influence on European stock. This breed is native to North Africa, a region that historically saw much activity over the centuries due to travelers, invasions, travelers, and settlements. Animar is a fine example of the of an I.S. and Mazig stallion with a name that means happy and blessed. Sculptor Sarah Mink captured all the special qualities of the breed in this piece. And it's cool that he's got like a uh, historical pose, like one you'd find in things that have been done of this breed. I think that's super cool. And then the finish work, the, this coat was designed by Heather Polio, who also does some super cool work. So let's go ahead and pop this fella open. The little teeny stablemate dude should be in here as well, I believe. If not, then I'm not sure when that's coming. Maybe it's not, maybe I'm wrong. Well, here's his COA. Normally they ship that little stablemate with the big fella, but I don't think they did this time. Oh, yeah, they did. He's just really in there. Very interesting dapples. Now, um, I don't, I still don't think, and I'll have to get a little bit better look at it, but we'll do this, we'll do this little fella first. So I'll move Animar out of the way. And we'll open up the little guy first. Um... I'm not a huge fan of George in the first place. I don't know if shrinking him is necessarily going to do him any favors in my eyes, but we'll see. Uh, regardless, this little fella is going to get painted. Actually, both of these are getting painted. Hmm. You know, he's not so bad and tiny. I don't know if this coat color necessarily does him any favors, though. He's a little pearly. He's got like a like a mold mold mark all the way along the side. At least, like it doesn't feel like it's in the plastic, but I wonder if it's like from the paint, like from the paint. He's okay. I, I guess I want to see him in some different colors. The thing that always gets me with these little, with these shrunken stable mates, uh, especially when they're shrunken Eberl, 
is they lose their um, definition in the main. Um, so not super impressed with this guy, but I'm also not like super impressed with uh, George himself either. So I'm going to go ahead and set this guy aside. I got to think of some colors that I want to do on this because that's just getting repainted and sold. So we're going to set him aside. And I'll grab Animar again. So like I said, Animar is also getting painted. But I do want to talk about him as a whole uh, before I do actually get to work on him. Uh, knowing Heather, I had a feeling that this guy was going to be pearly. It's very hard to tell in this video, except on his tail. You can see it in his tail. He is pearly. Actually, you can see the way that the camera is actually reflecting off of him in certain areas definitely makes it look like he is pearly. He's very pearly. Um, the dapples are blended way better than I thought they were going to be. I actually think that this dapple method is pretty darn cool. Do I necessarily think that it was 100% successful on this fella? Not really. But I appreciate that Briar is willing to go out of their comfort zone as far as dappling, you know, and doing some of these complex um, colors. I, I seriously applaud them, and I cannot wait to see what is done with this guy in the future. Now, I will say that regardless of whether or not I think that the, I think this works, this this model itself as a whole is pretty darn gorgeous. I think that Heather did a fantastic job on the uh, color. I think that Sarah did a fantastic job on the model itself. I am so excited to see this in other colors. He's absolutely stunning. And like, I'll kind of go in here. This side I feel like is blended a lot better than this other side. This seems to end a little bit more abruptly, but I can appreciate that they really did try to fade it up as much as they possibly could without losing too much of it. But for me, this is too much of a straight line. This actually has a little bit better to it. And see, this is just one of those variations you're going to get depending on like who painted it. I mean, these are all airbrush painted. So it's, it's still a matter of like, you know, human error. Let's get a look at his face. I love how crusty he is. And actually, I know that some people have said like, oh, Premier Club models have been getting worse in quality because of the seams and everything. The only thing I see here is that he's got a lot of like cleanup marks on his chest, which for me, when I'm customizing him, that's going to be easy to take care of. And like on his nose here, it seems like they dug in a little bit too deep. I may actually fill this in and sand back over it because... He's definitely got a divot in his nose that he isn't supposed to have. But as far as anything else goes, there's there's really, like, I would consider this a flawless model. If I was keeping this OF, I would actually, actually, actually be very happy with him, uh, just the way he is. So there we have it. We have Animar and Giorgio. And these guys are both getting painted. Um, I do have a color idea for this fella already. I'm super excited. But feel free to go ahead and drop your color suggestions for little tiny Gorg here in the comments. I would love to hear them. All right, Pony Pals, let me know what you think of these guys in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah.